Welcome to Africa and welcome to my travel morning routine. This is where zebras come to get water. Or humans, depends on the day. It's been five days that we're traveling. We're currently in Namibia, palm trees. We went to a wedding, we've gone crystal shopping. And to be honest, I haven't really been doing a lot in the morning. And I find that if I just do at least two things that serve me and ground me and nourish me, then it makes all the difference when I'm traveling. So I'll be sharing some things with you that I bring with me as my morning rituals when I'm traveling. If you have seen my healthy morning routine ritual video, then you know that there's quite a few steps that I like to do when I'm back at home. Listen, when you're traveling, you wanna take it easy. I'm not an early riser naturally, so I've been letting myself sleep in. But one thing that remains the same is I always create a sacred moment in the morning to do something that nourishes me on a physical and energetic level. To me, that looks like just walking outside with my bare feet on earth. If I can't do that, I just sit down, hold a crystal maybe and meditate for five minutes, breathe. And second thing is having a drink. In this case, it's a matcha maca latte made with the new brandless products. Who? generously sponsored this video. Matcha is basically a green tea powder made from the whole green tea leaf. It's full of antioxidants and it's very earthy. I'm obsessed with matcha. It's considered a green superfood. It's gluten-free, it's vegan, and it's like a tea that's supercharged with nutrients. Maca is a Peruvian superfood. It's a root. It can balance hormones. It is also very energizing. And it's also very earthy, a little bit caramelly. I just love the taste of it in my lattes. The most important point of this video is that wellness does not have to be difficult. It doesn't have to be lots of steps. Just pick one or two things that serve you in the morning and do them, especially when you travel, so that you can stay grounded and energized and nourished. First things first, lemon water. So we usually stay at Airbnbs, so normally we have access to a kitchen, which gives me the opportunity to make my own lattes and lemon waters, even when I'm on the go. And I'm going to show you how I make my matcha maca latte. This kitchen is quite special and it has a Vitamix, but normally if I don't have a Vitamix, I usually do this. I take my own cup and I use the little shaker ball that I put in there along with all my powders and I just shake it up and you get a frothy latte no matter what. So you don't have to have a Vitamix. When I'm off away for extended periods of time, I bring my smaller blender. I know it's crazy, but if you just wanna shake something up real quick on the go, put some MCT oil or maca in your coffee or tea, find a nice bottle that, that closes in a way where it doesn't leak. This one's good, just be careful with hot liquids. My latte today is simple, I am just blending the brandless maca powder with matcha powder, some hot water, and then it's up to you. You can use either a creamer that you brought with you or can find around. If you can find milk or an alternative milk that you prefer, then you can also use that. I am in Namibia in Africa and I found old milk in a store. Can you believe that? It's crazy. So delicious. I mean, why bother with the brand if you could just go brandless? That's my fiance. What do you think about matcha in general? Um, I think it's pretty good. I honestly think that it's definitely, it's an acquired taste, but once you're in, it tastes very good and it's refreshing and it's, you know, it's better than coffee when it comes to acid. Camera hood. Oh.
How did you get into matcha? Well, you, of course. Yeah? Yeah, I never liked uh, any green tea flavors until we met. And I got into it because it's, it's way less jittery than coffee. That's right. That being said, I love coffee too. So I just took a little bit of the brownless matcha and mixed it with hot water. And it Perfect. actually worked. You didn't need a whisk, didn't need to shake it up, didn't need to blend it. It's perfectly creamy. So I think this matcha is just a more fine powder and that's why it works perfect for travel. Travelmatcha.com Mmm, forward slash brandless. Is that I really like drinking green juice as soon as I wake up when I'm traveling green juice fresh green juice is not really often a thing so instead I found this local green powder with spirulina baobab moringa barley grass and I just shake that up with water and I get all my greens in with one glass <laughs> 